Matt and Ariel. I knew we were dance together eventually. And sorry, Jesse. Um, anyway, so we did we did a connection workshop. Ariel came at the end. Um, I did a workshop, a connection workshop. So we were talking about just some basic ways that I can build connection. One of the things I actually talked was a sugar tuck. One of the things that people do on a sugar tuck when they do a sugar tuck, they bring the hand straight up four and a five and six. They don't give my partner much warning. They go from a red light to a green, or sorry, a green light to a red light, and then a redirect. If sometimes if I leave the arm out on that two, I can prep the you know, prep it a little bit better before. Now this gives my partner opportunity to be able to do more. Again, I go one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now Ariel's gonna leave me real quick does that same thing on that three and I might hold the leg. One of the things we talked about now that I feel like I have more time, I can slide the foot for an end, I can do the spiral, and I can send the foot for a sweep. So here we are, switch hands. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five, and six. The number one thing that follows do as a mistake is they send the leg here where your audience can't see it. If I actually Go, no, you did great. You did this, don't leave me. You did a spiral and then take it, it looks better. So when we go here, two, three, and four, Ariel spiraling, and though she sends the leg, now we get all the bang for our buck because it's the best part of the sweep is the kick. And we're taking the kick towards our audience. I totally did that great. She's like, oh, did I screw that up? No. All right, cool. So we talked about that. And really the other thing I said, I related that to this move where a lot of us do a hammer lock and we do in the sweep. A lot of people send the foot back too soon. I just did it too soon, it's freeze. So I'm gonna take a spiral again first and now send the leg, I'm gonna get more bang for my buck. Again, one, two, three, and four. Think of an and, five, and six. And yes, you can take it through or whatever you like on that move. Cool, cool. Then we talked about what? I talked about trying to create opportunities. Sometimes my partners, some of my followers don't get the same opportunities as some of my other followers. And I'm trying to get, I'm trying to break that and you show your partners that you're capable of doing a lot of these moves that some of the young ones get all the time. So you're already on this web, two, three, and four, five, six. So it's a normal web, only in a normal web. And Ariel wants to create more of a walk around. So on that four, she's gonna create a little bit more torque on the frame, which instead of leaning me right in front of her, it actually pulls me to the right. As I walk, I'm just walking, well, show off. We can do a walk first, nice. Eventually, if you feel comfortable with it, the two four walks first. Four, you've, you've gauged it, now kick out the leg. Lower, stand up, so you're not just dropping your partner, and turn up. Now, my partner didn't come to my workshop, I wasn't seeing you. So you should just go to walk around, I can also create that same person cart for me. One, two. My partner saw somebody else do this, so they're gonna go for the horse and cart, and I was going to go for it too. Ooh, abort. Because now we have two carts. It's gonna run out of power, yes? And then we turn and we say, thanks for coming. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>